welcome back to Math and Me with me Nikila Shankar. So today we are going to learn 3D geometry. This is the easiest chapter in your 11th standard. Okay, so we are going to learn it the easier way. So until date, you have learned 2D geometry. Correct? 2D geometry na na. You'll only have the x y plane. So this is your x axis and this is your y axis. So 3D geometry la in addition you are going to have the z axis. So first 2D le na pato x comma y pato. We saw the distance formula in straight lines, which is when you have two points x1, y1, x2, y2. The distance formula is x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. But now we are going to deal with three points x, y, and z. So this will be the second part. But I'm just reminding you. So first we have learned with two points. Correct? You will only have x and y coordinate. Now you are having a different plane. Different axis, which is going to be the z axis. Okay, so you have a few things which you need to remember. So before that, I've made a very sasta model. So, so this is the sasta model that I've made. I hope you can see it. Okay, sasta model or cost-effective model. Tamil is also na vela kamyana model. We play panadhe. I'm sorry if it is very. Dirty and not very neat. Okay, so basically, this is your 3D structure of a 3D plane. Okay, so in that pillar, the paper is my z-axis. This is my x-axis, and this is my y-axis. Okay, so this is my x, y, and z. So either one the positive z, either negative z. Okay, so basically, in 2D, you would have learned there are four. Quadrants, correct? Ah, first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Quadrant na na. Quad means four. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight, which means I no more call it quadrant. I'll call it octant. Okay, oct na na eight. So I'm going to call it octant. So I have eight octants when I have three axes, correct? Ah, so here na na la arke. I have my first. It is going to be in the same order. One, two, three, four. Anti-clockwise la poda. So ingi abrda ko bode. So I'll have first, second, third, and the fourth octant. And on the other side, I'll have fifth, sixth, seventh, and the eighth octant. Okay. So first octant la. What do I have? This is my positive z. Okay. I've written z here. So this is my positive z. So positive z de positive x. This side it is positive x. And this is positive y. Okay, I've marked everything. So positive x, positive y, positive z. So first octant la all my values will be positive. So first octant I'll have x, y, z. I'll write it here. First octant everything is positive. Okay. Second octant only x is negative. So x is negative arke. Y is positive. Then z is also positive. So second octant la abdi arke. Only x is negative, y is positive, and z is positive. Okay. So similarly, I have my third octant, fourth octant, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Okay. So first four octants, my z value is always positive because I have the positive z here. When I rotate it, this is my negative z. For the other four octants, I'll have the value of z to be negative. Okay. I hope this 3D diagrams helps you visualize or even see. Okay. It is right in front of you. So, इधर बात आले उंगल के इन द साइंस अलाव प्रॉब्लम मरक पड़ा थे, ओके? बट एग्जाम ले इधर उकान इमेजिन मनी टक मुड़िया थे, बिकॉज़ यू विल नॉट हैव अ थ्री डी फिगर, सो आई डेफिनेटली टेल यू हाउ टू इजीली रिमेम्बर द टेबल दैट इज़ गिवन इन द टेक्स्ट बुक, बट बिफोर दैट येंगे इन इधर from where it all came from so you have to understand the meaning with the 3d structure so first second third fourth when i rotate it on the other side i'll have 5 6 7 and 8 octants okay this is my negative z kira potala so this is my negative z and this is my positive z okay i hope it's clear so let me draw the table for you so how will the table be I have x, y, and z. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth octant. Okay, so I have eight octants. Okay, how do I remember x one the plus minus minus plus? Again, that gets repeated here. Plus 
minus minus plus. Why you kept here go? Plus plus minus minus. Again repeat the same thing. Plus plus minus minus. Is that the first four quadrants it will be positive. For the next four quadrants it will be negative. So plus 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 minus 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 minus. So example in the tabular column I will be Okay this will be very helpful for you to solve questions related to this tabular column. Don't. You don't have to remember this entire 3D structure. Okay. If you can remember it is very good. But. It is difficult to imagine the 3D structure in your exam. Patha terinjuro. But periyama imagine panni visualize panni panna the kashtam. Okay. I will again explain. So first quadrant everything is positive. So everything is positive. X, Y, A, Z. First four quadrants Z is positive. Correct? First, second, third, fourth. We are on the positive side of Z. So Z is always positive. The next four quadrants Z is negative. So we are done with Z. Now Y. Y is first and second quadrant. We are in the positive side of Y. Third and the fourth quadrant, we are in the negative side of y. When it comes to x, first quadrant positive, next quadrant negative. Next to negative, next to positive. Okay. So again that gets repeated on the other side also. Except z is negative on the other side. Okay. So this is very simple. So we will solve some example questions. So example 1 from the textbook. In figure 12.3, if P, the point P is 2, 4, 5, find the coordinates of F. So, F is coordinates and coordinates. Let me name them as X, Y, Z. You can see the figure on the screen. So, basically, point P and F are located like this. So, P and F are here. So, from the diagram, what do you see? Point P and F are at the same distance from the X axis. X axis is outside the board. So basically P and F are in one one X axis. So the X coordinate will not change. So the X coordinate will be 2. What will be my Z coordinate? I also see that the Z coordinate which is the top. So Q in the malar, it is again parallel. The two points are on the straight line. So the Z axis coordinates will also not change. The X and the Z will remain the same. Okay. So what about the Y coordinate? P in the point, y axis in the point, it is over here. But F is directly below the y axis. So which will be the coordinate will be 0. So what will be your coordinate, final coordinates? F will be 2, 0, 5. Okay. This is completely different from the table that we learned. The next example will be similar to the table. Okay. Example 2. Find the octant in which the points minus 3, 1, 2, minus 3, 1, comma, 2 and minus 3, 1, comma, minus 2 like in the of 10th in k -kramer. Okay. So basically for the first you have the x coordinate is minus, the y is positive, the z is positive. So they are asking which of 10th we are in. So minus plus plus is in the second of 10th. Okay. Quadrant kare Second of 10th. So we are in the second of 10th. So similarly for this particular point, x coordinate is negative, y is positive and again z is negative. So minus plus minus. Minus plus minus. So we are in the 6th octant. Okay. So this is how you solve such questions. So always remember this table. Plus minus minus plus repeat. Plus plus minus minus repeat. Plus 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 plus. Add the 4 minus 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 minus. Okay. So this is how you remember. 